Holy moly! Thank you for that 10 month resub, Is I appreciate that. Apple canceled your sub? Frick Apple, honestly. But thank you, Issa. You gonna get your name written in the journal? I forgot. Because that emote explosion only shows on the starting soon screen and ending screen. I got scared. Okay, back to muting. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. I- the setup is the same for now because you know how I told you guys I was going to like put my paintings on the wall? Well I can't do nails, but I can do thumbtacks. So I have to wait till we get thumbtacks. Yes, we have the tree. <laughs> how many pieces and seasons did I miss? I think- when was supposed to be chatted is so it's okay. But Issa, look, Issa has a sunflower badge now, not like a flex it. Um, yeah, this is the new house. Yeah, have you not seen? Um, yeah, last time Issa chatted. We're looking through logs, we're looking through logs. It was the last journey. It's fine, you know, life happens. So, we have, wrong way, we have the tree. Yeah, I moved. I'm in a, a duplex with some roommates, so let's go. That's the new lore. So we have our tree. We also have the presence under the tree. It's off screen. And then... <clears throat> how it's going to work is... Such a sleigh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Luigi, Mac, Issa, Kobobo, Cokes, and... I said Luigi already. Thank you guys for chatting the just starting soon screen. I appreciate you guys. Um, any big announcements? Not really. So... For the month of December, we already talked about it, but anybody who gifts a sub will get to put a present under the tree, it's off screen. And if you cheer bits, see that snowflake? You get to put a snowflake on the tree. And we'll do this at the end of stream, along with the calligraphy journal. And those are only for gifted and cheers, not for resubs. But everybody still gets written in the journal as normal. Wait, I forgot to post on Twitter! Oopsie. Why is the tourney... Okay, wait. I missed the Fortnite stream? No, we weren't able to do any um, bonus streams in November, so we're gonna try and do them all during December. I got a tweet that I'm live. Hold, um, chatters, go follow my Twitter. Do I get mine? Yeah, we're gonna do your present that you gifted yesterday at the end of stream today, Mac. So don't worry, I'm not scamming. Guys, I'm tweeting that I'm live. Go like the tweet, please. I forgot to do this during the starting soon screen. Oopsie. Blind reacting to. Yeah, because I think we have Monkey Ball, Fortnite, and then get Odyssey for bonus streams that we unlocked. Hi, Hacker. Welcome in. 
Pikachu is taped? Yeah, it's always been taped. Anytime you guys try to debate me, it won't work. Okay, how do I possess this tweet? I don't know. Blind reacting <laughs> to the new MK Wave 3 LDC. I am. <laughs> Okay, guys, go like it, please. Hi, Potato, welcome in. Okay, today's gonna be a normal last stream, but it is the wave three of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. And also, um, somebody told me this morning that there's new settings for tournaments. Talking about tournaments, we do have our Meg Esports tournament for December on this Sunday. I know we didn't do one last month because I was moving, but. We can't do it near the end of the month because the final Sunday is Christmas this month. And then next weekend we're going to be recording for the Naughty or Nice stream. More information will be on my Twitter tomorrow. So, I think today offline, or maybe we can look through the settings today just to see what options we could do for attorney. And we'll officially announce it later tonight. Um, so I'll post on Twitter with the new graphic. So, I think before we look at the tracks, I kind of want to see what the new, um, what you call it? Oh wait, I forgot to do tournaments. Oh, it is an online play, I forgot. Uh, it's sad that I have to delete tournaments. I forgot what the buttons were. <laughs> I haven't seen the tracks either, me neither. No, no leaks, no leaks, please. If you leak, you are dead to me. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not gonna create it now. I just wanna see what settings we can have, but we can decide as a group what we wanna do for Sunday. Ah! <laughs> you can't put more than five numbers? Okay, that's dumb. That's D-U-M. You played them already? No leaks, no leaks. Okay, so 150, mirror, 200, balloon battle. Oh. Okay, so it's like team battles you can- t Was this here before the team battles? I'm not sure. Am I allowed to say that I like Wave 3? I guess. Okay, team game. Wait! Oh, okay, I see now. Because you can do, like, their solos and team versions of the, the battle modes. Okay. Oh, shit. I, I didn't- fuck. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. That's good. We can name the teams. We can name them Team Stinky and Team Smelly. Oh. Oh, this is kind of cool. Huh. <laughs> wait. Wait. What if we just did lightning bolts? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wait. <laughs> lightning bolts would be so aggravating, but so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So now that we can do like like just one item at a time, that's kind of interesting. Only bullet bills would go crazy. That'd be America baby though, right? <laughs> okay, okay. So if we were to just do one item on Sunday, what item would you guys want? I think lightning bolts would be funny as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, you can mix and match, but I think just doing one item and everybody getting it would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> My snack today is watermelons. Blooper? I mean, inks? I feel like getting inked isn't that much of a handicap. We did bombs already. I think lightning bolts would be funny. I think it'd be funny. 
Because, like, all of these could be interesting. Because with the boom box, if there's no other items, then you would have to use it as, like, a projectile, right? You couldn't use it to guard against blue shells. If there are blue shells only, then it would, like, fuck over everybody in this path. I'll decide. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. <clears throat> okay so i will decide tonight what we'll do for sunday oh i don't how do i get out of here okay let's see what else we can customize so it looks like what's fully customizable for the items that's actually pretty cool that's kind of what i wanted because i remember doing um the shells only, and I thought it would be like just red shells, but it was all the shells. Okay, so that looks like it's the main change to where you can just do customizable items and then more like specific team races. Because I think if we get to a point where, like, I start averaging, like, 25 to 50 viewers, I think that's when we can start doing team tournaments. That way we can have probably, like, probably, like, 20 people race, so you can have 10 people per team. Okay! That's cool. That's actually cool. So, like I said, I will announce... Okay, I'm just gonna close the fucking game. <laughs> I don't want to exit through. Like I said, I'll announce the tournament officially on twitter later tonight it's actually kind of good that i waited until today honestly because i forgot to post it last night so <laughs> um <laughs> so yeah okay let's actually see the pro the plate the fuck the tracks you just saw the course you love let's go i i really want the toad courses you know toad's factory that's one of my favorites <laughs> I think Team Chocolate and Vanilla have very different connotations, honey. I don't think we could ever do that. <laughs> anyway. Um, let's start off with 200cc because I'm not a fucking pleb. <laughs> he said to gasp. Okay, my eyes are closed. Ooh, I'm excited. I haven't seen anything for these tracks. London Loop from Tor, Boo Lake, Rock Rock Mountain, and Maple Tree. Oh, Maple Tree was another one that I liked. Team Nuts. Okay, well, I'll wait to see the other four. I'll wait to see the other four. Ooh, I'm excited. Type one if you're excited. Also, I gotta do predictions, so... First. Oh, that sound! I hated that sound. The could you? I hated that. Well, this looks pretty. How are you not excited? How, what? How am I seeing several twos? You guys suck. Okay. <clears throat> Dude, it looks so crisp on this TV. Oh, I hate that turn. Shortcut? Oh, we have fun then. Yeah, I don't like that path as much. It's not as fun. I've already seen it. Oh. You're supposed to wait till the piece in underscore 17 stream, of course. Does this one... Oh, looking at the map, this one looks wild. Does it loop? Oh, it does loop. Okay. Mario's in it. Fuck! Hi, Patch. Welcome in. This some confused you? Yeah. It, it seems like it's like, um... New York Minute, is that what it's called? Where it seems like it's looping, but not really. Oh, that turns really sharp. I don't like that. Fuck! I'm in cord, though! 
Okay, granted this is my first time playing it, so if I don't get first, it's fine. Why am I getting a piranha? This is pants. <laughs> I got put straight into the wall. <laughs> okay, so this looks like it's the same path as before. Okay, I'm definitely- oh, this path is different. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what the fuck? I don't like the chain chumps. When we hooked up the Wii, I played um, Mario Kart on the Wii, and I didn't realize it was only tilt control. Oh, they're loose on the track. The goose is loose. Oh, this is drawbridge. That's cool. Oh, dude, these turns. What the fuck? I can't see. I actually hate the bloop. No. Oh. oh, so close. The piranha plant can eat the blooper and blue show? No way. You're lying. That's not right. This is stressing me to, out to look at, really. Okay, that one wasn't fun. Usually I have fun, but that one wasn't fun. I thought I had the option for stick controls if you had a retro controller, really? Oh, well, I just had the Wii remote. Okay, I don't like that one. That seems like that one's gonna take me a while to learn. Um, one out of ten. Because, <laughs> like, for, didn't it seem like the turns are way too sharp? I'm mad at me because I'm, I'm starting off with 200cc. Could be. Okay, next track. Boo Lake. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, right path is tighter. That turn was ass! Oh, we're underwater? Okay. I like the tracks that are angular. It's also like the Rainbow Road. For the SNES, where it's just like all these like... Ooh, that part's fun. Oh, this one's short! Okay. I'm liking this one a bit more. Shit, I fell for it! Yeah, I don't think the Piranha Plant can eat a blue shell, because the blue shell comes from behind, but the Piranha Plant can only eat, like, in front. Well, I thought that was a path, like, to cut through, like, those little hedges, but it's not. Okay, this part? It's kind of- okay. It's a bit DPC, We like very hard, it appears so. But it it's fun, though. Oh, I can- I can grind on that center part. I'm an eight, and me. Okay, that line was a lot better. God, but how am I gonna get into that turn? Cause like, it's hard to stop your momentum. Doesn't that look like a cut there on the left? It looks like it could be. Oh, I was so close! No! Oh no, my reputation is ruined! Yeah, that one was difficult, but it was more fun. Dude, I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm gonna go home cry, Dad. Yeah, peace out to L. I do like how the turns are more, like, angular. I like those turns a lot. Because it forces you to, like, pay attention the whole time. Okay, next race! Oh, there's bumpers. Rock, rock, mountain. Oh, that bird at the start casting the shadow.
Okay, I was like overturning way too much. Oh, this is like the underwater like caves in the ice levels. Oh, that part's fun. That part's fun. Oh, there's an upper path. No, that's just toads. Dude, the music for this one is sick. I love the levels that are like bright and colorful. Okay, there's bumpers. Whoa! Can I go all the way? Can I go all the way? Ah, uh, damn, if I hadn't tilted at the start, maybe I could have gone all the way across. Shit! Oh, it's hard to see, like, which way I'm supposed to go. Okay, there's coins on top of that branch, so it seems like you're supposed to coast all the way through. Okay, bumper in the center. Okay, let's see if I can coast all the way. Oh! Dude, that was pretty cool. I don't know if that's necessarily faster. Because usually when you're in the air, you lose time. Oh, this, this part right here. It's reminiscent of the curve in, um... This is the Bowser level, where he's in the city. Oh, I fucked up. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, there's boulders. I didn't even realize. Nice try, Rosalina. Fuck me, dude. Oh, I fell off. Yeah, my first Mario Kart game was on the Wii. I never played on the DS. So that's where most of my nostalgia is. Is this the new tracks? Yeah, obviously. Read the title. <laughs> Welcome in, Titans. <laughs> Damn, we had no believers that time. I'm sorry. That one was fun. I liked it. The music helped a lot. Maple Treeway! I like this one a lot. This part right here with the little caterpillar dudes pissed me off, though. I would get really mad playing when I was a kid. You heard they changed the music? Uh-oh. Right row. Oh, I almost had that turn. This part was always super difficult too. Oh, I didn't fall off somehow? Wait, do mushrooms not come out? Oh, here, going off the side edges. I missed that. Get boomed? <laughs> Get fucked, honestly. Okay, this one is just as fun and difficult as I remember. Ooh, that turn was pretty solid! I'm a fucking pro! Okay, this part's boring, though. I hate when you're just gliding through the air. It's boring as fuck. <laughs> Come on, dude! That was pretty solid. I'm in first. Well, now. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the shells didn't break on the tree roots. Interesting. Yeah, we are hosting a Meg Esports tournament this Sunday. With the new customizable settings that were updated in this wave. So we'll be announced on Twitter what the challenge will be on tonight. The courses are fun but hard at 200cc. Yeah, I agree. I should have started with 150. 
I think we'll try out 150 once we've tried out the... Or once we got first impressions. Oh, come on! Man, fuck Rosalina, honestly. Oh, this is close. I hope you win on Maple Tree Way. I got really close. I got second. That's pretty solid. Okay, Maple Tree Way, just as fun and difficult as I remember. I think the one before this, the Rock Rock Roadway, was it called? It was fun. I think that was my favorite of this cup. <laughs> Wanna do what, to Rosalina? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Also, guys, we are 30 minutes into stream, so it's time for me to tell you. Um, if you're new here, follow the stream. And uh, then you get to type in chat. And if you are following, make sure you have notifications turned on. Only 70% of you guys have notifications turned on. So turn them off so you get pinged for when I go live. Rock my Mountain, I was close. Do you have to break? I was breaking! Do you not see me breaking? Oh wait, let's do 150 CC. I can't be showing off no more. <laughs> okay, Moon Cup. Berlin Byways. Pe oh, Peach Gardens. I remember that one. Merry Mountain. <laughs> Christmas Hump? And Rainbow Road. Ooh. This one looks fun. Okay, we're doing 150 CC this time, so hopefully I'll get more W's, okay? The lever's no longer in shambles. I need to play Mario Kart Tour. I think for the Santa waiting stream, I'll figure out how to screen cap my phone. And I'll try Mario Kart Tour for the first time. Hi, Vengeance! Welcome in, hon. <clears throat> We're trying out the second cup right now. Dude, playing with headsets on is drastically different than listening to like your TV audio. I never understood. Oh, I wish it was more clear what was part of the track and what was not. They always get me. Peach Gardens is your favorite? I remember that was my favorite playing on the Wii. Oh, I hate this. The music sounds so whimsical. There's a lot of, like, city tracks in these DLCs. I yes, I know there's arrows, but I'm blind. I need new glasses, okay? We can get coins off the cars. Oh, is this one of, like, the non-looping but kind of looping ones? I feel like all the city levels are like that, huh? Peach Garden is DS. Wasn't it on- Wait, Kate, wasn't there some type of, like, garden level on the Wii, though? Did I actually play the DS version? No way. I can't see. Why can't we invest in some, like, windshield wipers? End me. Oh, tour is all about the traveling the world. Oh, that makes so much sense. <laughs> I'm just clueless. I was wondering why there were so like many international levels. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Peach Garden was in the way. Okay, that's what I thought. Chat trying to gaslight me. Oh my god. It was originally on the DS. Oh, okay, got it, boss. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Holy moly! Thank you for that gifted sub goal, Bobo. I appreciate that, hon. We the fucking sub goal? Um, since we had our daily sub goal, should we do Cold of the Lamb later? Oh, what is this? 
But thank you, Kobobo. You're gonna get to put a present under the tree. Okay, I don't like how these tracks don't like actually loop. It's confusing as fuck. Wait, this one looped. There we go. Yes? Okay. Do I have time tonight? Yes, I don't have to make dinner tonight, so I have time to do Cold of the Lamb. I thought it said Kobobo gifted 56. Holy, that'd be crazy. Wait, I got first? No way. Wait, I just saw the prediction. 1k in belief, 4k in doubt. <laughs> Get fucked, doubters. <laughs> oh. Okay, next one is Peach Gardens. Oh, they get fucked, doubters. <laughs> I am eating good tonight. Let's wait. Can I see who won? Oh, I can't see who got the points, Dan. Peach Gardens. There's lots of levels with chain chomps in this wave. <clears throat> I just noticed. Yeah, I should have time to do Cold of the Limb tonight. Because I made chicken last night. And I made enough for today and tomorrow. I don't like this first part. That first line. It's not like fun. It's kind of weird. Why do we just get like Luigi's ass POV? You never paid attention to the details where it says where it originated? No. I'm just clueless. Because I played when I was like, what, 10? My memories. Dude, they hit me in midair. I've never had that happen. Didn't you. Weren't you able to like loop around that hedge at the start? Who dodged the banana? Easy. It feels like the paths are way too wide in the garden. Oh! <laughs> Not the peach garden slander so early on. It, I just, oh, good. I feel like the paths should be smaller. They're way too wide. Because, like, it's not quote unquote punishing for me if I don't make a turn in time. Oh, here's the chain shot. I remember this, motherfucker. Can I get boom? Oh, that, that line's different. Oh, we're doing it backwards. Okay. This part is pretty with the trellises and the archways. Oh. Seemed easier because I'm doing 150 cc. But it's height. I think it's because like it's you don't have to. I like the ones where you have to be like engaged and focused the whole time. Like this one is calming. This one is nice. Okay, I want to because I need to disable a timer. It's bugging me. Where's this? Okay. Hold. Because we shouldn't have the turny command in chat. I don't know why that timer's on. I feel like Ventus is gonna hate me, but it's 
eyed. Oh, I did turn that command on. Okay, that bot should no longer be on then. Exclamation code. <laughs> yeah, it's not on anymore. I don't know why. I think I accidentally toggled that timer on. Okay, it's fine. My foot's asleep. Okay, next one. Did I get first? Of course I did. Your new prediction is up, go Gamba. Mary Mountain, new trap. Just in time for Christmas. Isn't it like a bit too on the nose, though? I love a bit of holiday cheer, but... I feel like some people won't like it. <laughs> Ryan Mountain. Oh, the brick is so pretty! It's like alternating between green, blue, and red. Okay, just looking at the map, the track seems pretty simple. Like, no great- why do you- how do you trick there? Uh, I love the parts where you trick upwards off the edge. I feel like none of the newer tracks had that. The brick is so pretty. I can't get over it. And like the way the water is like shimmering. Oh look at the little candy canes, they made a heart shape! I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> me pointing at the DB when you guys are not sitting in the room with me. How are they tripping there? Get fucked. I got mad. Is it faster to not go for the edge? Probably. The red shell hit the bumper. So rude. Get boomed. Never go for the half fights or bait? That's what I kind of thought too. They're fun though. But if we're gonna like actually try speedrunning, not worth, right? I didn't want to get hit, okay? I got scared. Now Luigi fell for the Jimmy. Come on, get him. Wait, ah! That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Popeye's chicken sandwiches are mid mods ban back. That is the worst take you've ever had in your whole goddamn life. Dude, I want Popeye's now. Fuck Mac, honestly. <laughs> okay, we need a new sub goal, I forgot. Popeye's is so good. I can't remember if I played this one or not. Was this one ported to the Wii? What is Popeyes? Oh wait, I forgot. Vengeance is from the UK. Um, it's like the best fried chicken you ever have in your life. Not McDonald's. We had McDonald's the other day. I'm so fucking annoyed at my sister. Cause, ooh, this is pretty. Cause we ordered delivery, right? And I told her literally three times what I wanted. I was like, I want a double quarter pounder with just ketchup and mustard. And she's like, what do you want? And I, I, I literally said it three times. And she still ordered the wrong fucking sandwich. Because, like, you know when you go to McDonald's and the patties are thin as fuck? Oh, this part's fun. 
I love how the track looks like water. It's like we're cascading down like a waterfall or something. Hi, Peace and Biggest Fan. Popping chicken sandwich is so good. I know, right? Honestly, I don't like Mac anymore. What is this part? Yeah, so I told her three fucking times what I wanted. And she got the wrong thing. She got a single quarter pounder. McDonald's patties are thin as fuck. So the only, like... If you want, like, an actual full-size patty, you gotta get a, a double patty, okay? I got mad. Ah! Okay, that's not fair. Oh, this isn't a looping track. I love this. I like the tracks where they don't loop. Okay, those speed pads are weird. It didn't feel like I was going faster. <laughs> no. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, Chick-fil-A is pretty solid. I haven't Chick-fil-A in a long ass time. Because it's way too expensive. Like, Popeyes is pretty good price point. Easy! Okay, I think this has to be my favorite Rainbow Road ever. That was fun. The variety in terrain. The ending part where there's all those ramps and the, like, little boost star circle things. That one is fun. I just want to play this one all day. <clears throat> Very nice. Okay, so... Did I get first? Yes, of course. Oh, I, w I was pressing B instead of A and I was getting confused. I was like, why is my controller not working? Popeye's D tier? Oh my god. I need to seriously time out, Mac. Wave 3 came out today? Yes, it did! Hi, Crystal. Welcome in. A rock rock mountain, more like mid mid mountain. I agree. No, it was fun though. Wait, sorry, it was fun. Okay, let's look at all the tracks again, and we'll give my expert review. Chick Fil A is kind of mid. I think. Okay, it goes Popeyes, Chick Fil A, McDonald's, chicken for me. Okay. Because I think the breading for Chick-fil-A is good, but it's not as crispy as I want it to be. Okay. Let's look at all these tracks. Let's go game four. Okay. Wait. Can that block it? It does still block it. Okay, it don't matter. We're blocking the screen a little bit. British loop. Okay. I think my favorite in the Rock Cup. Rock Rock Mountain. I think it's good. I think it's good. Dude, I would love to go on a trip to the UK. I haven't traveled in ages. Okay. Rock Rock Mountain is the best. It's fun. I like how at the end when you have the parachute, you can just keep gliding. I think the worst London loop. I didn't like I don't mind when the tracks don't completely loop, but it's just so off-putting where you have to do a track in reverse at the end or go through like a different path. Like the little red arrows, they're so hard to see, especially when the environments are, especially when the environments are warmer. Like Tokyo Blur, see how there's like a lot of red in the environment? So it's harder for me, for me to see like the arrows. I can only imagine like how hard it is for people who are like, Red, green, color blind, right? Okay. Moon Cup. I think Berlin Byways was better than London Loop. I genuinely don't like any car any tracks that have cars in it though, where you have to like dodge the cars. Mary Mountain was Ite. Kind of boring though. Like the lines weren't that hard. Rainbow Road or the this one. The 3DS Rainbow Road, I think was fun. I just want to play that one 
all day long. That one was fun. Yeah. So I think best for Amber Road, or best for Moon is Rainbow Road. Best for Rock Cup is Rock Rock Mountain. Worst for Moon Cup. I'd have to say Merry Mountains. I think it's partially biased because, you know, you don't have the nostalgia, right? And then worst for Rock Cup is London Loop. The loops, the laps were difficult to, like, learn. I I'm probably going to practice that one a bit. Okay. Let's get back to racing. <laughs> So I want to do a few more attempts in computers, and then we'll do online. Because I need to, like, learn the lines a little bit more. Is anyone else able to play the new tracks online but not offline? I don't know, maybe try like restart your switch. Cause I haven't tried them online yet. Cause I'm playing offline right now. Wait, it's not a Christmas tree. Oh, that line. Makes it feel like I'm supposed to turn right. Oh! <laughs> Shit! Oh, I just realized I left my bike at my parents' house. Oh, this path is... It's like an indoor... Ooh, can I cut through here? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, they're like, they're, are they Christmas trees? They look like hedges. Oh, no. Why are you saying, oh, no? Oh, because I left my bike. <laughs> yeah, so I left my bike at my parents' house because I moved. And there's not really any biking trails nearby. Like, there's one kind of close, but it's like a paved trail, and that doesn't seem as fun. But since we live in a two-story duplex, we because I was going to save up for an elliptical. But it's like, I can literally just walk up and down the stairs for 30 minutes and call that exercise. Like, I don't need to spend two, three hundred bucks on an elliptical. And like, <laughs> the problem with like ellipticals as well is that I'm so short that usually my legs aren't long enough to reach. I remember like going to the gym and trying out the ellipticals and having to adjust the feet every time. Chain chomps loose! Okay, why am I fucking up so bad this time? Oh! The buddy's gonna use the bike? That'd be funny. Oh no! Dude, the lights seem different! I don't remember this. You should put on a British accent every time you're racing this track. Maybe I will. That does seem like a good bit. I feel like the British accent is the only accent you can make fun of. Anything else is just insensitive, right? Did I get first? Yes, of course. I got scared. I saw the water in the center because I forgot how oh, that's how the first turn of this, of this track started. Oh, okay, I saved it somehow. Never mind! British accents are better than Australian accents? I think anybody with any accent is gonna be automatically like 10 times more attracted than everybody else in the room. 
I think partially, because if you're listening to somebody with like a foreign accent, you kind of have to like listen to them more. And I find when I'm talking to somebody IRL that has an accent, I will like look in their eyes more or try and read their facial expressions. And that thing subconsciously makes me like them more. I don't know. It's probably like science or some shit. If I have to like name a favorite accent, I think Australian is pretty solid. Oh, dude, I hate that line. Does anybody, like, who's foreign find the American accent attractive? <laughs> like, does anybody? Oh, I nailed that line that time. Easy. Personally, not at all. Damn. <laughs> I mean, do I have an American accent? I don't know. Because I feel like whenever anybody thinks of an American accent, they think of, like, the southern drawl, right? You know, right is right. <laughs> like, that type of shit. But I don't have that. I'm from the northwest. Or do you guys remember watching Smosh and they would always make fun of, like, Minnesotan? Okay, I don't like this cave part. Oh, I almost had- I had it that time. I think of propeller heads? Oh my god. I think as with, like, any YouTube creator, Whenever they become more polished or produce higher, or when they make higher produced content, I feel like the, like, relatability appeal diminishes, so that's why I kind of, like, stop watching Smosh. Because, yes, they were making, like, actual, like, content that could be for TV or, like, online shows, but it loses that, like, kind of, like, wholesomeness almost. Because I think the biggest thing with YouTube is that people feel like they can relate to the creators. Like, usually it's just people sitting in their bedrooms, kind of like how streamers are. I think that's why streamers have become more popular in recent years. It's because, like, anybody can become a YouTuber along with being a streamer. But if you're too, like, I guess fake or professional, then people won't like you. That cave part keeps tripping me up. Wait, can I destroy the blue shell? Where is the blue shell? <laughs> no. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. A three star gold trophy on my second try? No way. Oh, this is 200 CC. Dude, I'm actually correct. I think I have that lying down now. I think the shrooms that pop out of the leaf piles pop are more of a handicap than an advantage. Because since the turns are a bit too tight, if you get a speed boost, if you can't necessarily control, 
gonna ruin it. Uh, I know it's slowing me down, but that part's fun. <gasps> okay, I made it. Get boomed? Oh, okay, I thought I split out for a second. Okay, I almost had it. I know, I think it was Hagger earlier who said I have to break on that turn. But you know, I like to live on the edge. I don't need to break. Full speed ahead. Fuck. <laughs> Ignore that. I can still get first. Don't do this to me. Okay, we're good. Oh wait, I do break on this turn, Lamau. Oh! I thought I didn't break, but I do. <laughs> I just break poorly, I guess. Let's go for it. I didn't get item. I'm so close to the end. Oh no. Get fuck! Easy. First place. Look at that. Three star gold trophy, 200 CC on my second attempt. Nobody thought this could happen. But you know what I did foresee happening? Having to run an ad break. Because guys, we are an hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But, you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and hashtag sub for free with Prime every month. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we're gonna keep on playing. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. And if you're new here and you aren't following, follow the channel. That way, you get notified when I go live and you can type in chat. It's snack time now. Dude, I can't believe I got first all four races. That's crazy. Your sub ends today? Damn. I hate that feeling. Cause like, I get gifted in channels like randomly all the time. And for example, like if I love their emotes. Like my extra Emily sub expired two days ago and I was so sad. I was so sad. Yeah, I think after this one I'll try, I'll try online. Because if I'm able to get a three-star gold trophy on my second try, that's pretty good. And those were like my weaker tracks, I think, between the two greens. Okay, I had a list of things to talk about. But I have it on my other phone. Also, thank you for liking the tweet, guys. I appreciate it. The struggle of having two phones. Dude, that turn right there. End me. Oh, can I? Oh, oh wait. I want to go. I want to go in here. Okay, I was throwing the race on purpose just because I wanted to see what was in that train. Hey. 
Can I go again? No, I can't! Sad day. That was weird. I hate the oncoming traffic. Makes me so anxious. Easy. Oh, wait, I want to go over here. He that that didn't seem quicker. Fuck. I Me mean, frick. I'm cursing a lot today. Should we do another no cursing stream? Put me in more debt. And Mario's tough thing you to get he could get me. Nice try. Did she used to say that? Where she's like, yes, first place. I feel like she wouldn't say that before. Or was I just like clueless? Actually clueless. Imagine getting 12 plays. Couldn't be me. Sorry, I'm mad. <laughs> Something that I never really understood was that it seemed like a lot of middle-aged women on Facebook would only be posting, like, the food they make. And I never understood because I'm like, oh, that's so boring. But now that I'm cooking for myself, I kind of understand it. Like, just knowing that you're able to do something completely on your own and be proud of it. And, like... I think also being able to provide for other people is such a nice and beautiful thing. This is like, I've been posting some pictures of the food that I've been making on my own on like, Twitter or IG. Like, in my stories. And it's like, I get it now. Because the other day I made some deviled eggs, and then last night I made some chicken, and like, it genuinely is so rewarding being able to cook for yourself. If you don't know how to cook yourself, I would say definitely learn how to do it on your own. Like, start with simple things like pasta or things where it's just, like, simple assembly. Because eating out of a can or just heating stuff up in the microwave is not where it's at, you know? Being able to go food is honestly very satisfying. I know! I think it's also- Oh, shit! Fuck, sorry. <laughs> I think it's also nice being able to- make things that look presentable, you know? Because I know I have pride in things when they look good. Like, when it comes to art or, like, decorating cookies or something. And, like, even if something takes a long time, that time is worth it. Yeah, I'll show you guys. I made some apple crumble the other day. Because um, one of my roommate's parents, they brought over a bag of apples. So I was like, how the fuck am I going to use these apples? I'm in fucking second! No! And me. Yeah, so one of my roommate's parents, they brought over like a bag of apples. And I was like, how am well, I going to do with all these apples? So I made an apple crumble. So... An apple crumble is essentially where you put sliced apple down, I, apples down and then you put a mixture of flour, sugar, and seasonings and then you sprinkle it on top with melted butter and it when it bakes, 
it kind of makes the apples crispy and then yeah because there's crumbles um fuck what are the other ones called because <laughs> like i want to bake more but i know if i bake more i'm gonna have to eat it all because i made the i made a whole tray of it right and nobody else is eating it so i have to eat it all by myself and i made it on saturday and there's like two servings left because i've been having a serving every day with like ice cream and when I'm eating it, I'm just like, I shouldn't be eating this every day. But if I don't eat it, it's gonna go bad. I'm glad you like the emotes, Mac. Um, uh, Chatter, so if you're watching on desktop, you can download these extensions. And you'll see more funny haha -ha emotes on Twitch. At your mom, got them. Ice cream makes everything better. I agree. There was a time in my life where <laughs> I would eat, like, two scoops of ice cream every day. Granted, I don't do this anymore, because that is not healthy. You know, ice cream has a lot of sugar and a lot of calories. But I used to make sure I'd have, like, a carton of ice cream in the freezer whenever we'd go grocery shopping. Ooh, I think my favorite, like, seasonal flavor has to be eggnog. Because eggnog ice cream is literally just creamier eggnog. It's so freaking good. But I'm trying to get to a point where I shouldn't be buying unhealthier things. So when I go grocery shopping, I try to buy, like, healthier snacks. Like, I'll buy nuts and bolts instead of buying, like, treats and stuff. But my sister, she bought some, you know, the mochi ice cream? And she bought three boxes, so that's, like, three times six, 18 pieces. And I've been having a piece every once in a while. <laughs> so... Yeah, I have no self-control. I want to learn how to make, like, season nuts. I have to look up a recipe. Because they sell, like, bags of, like, buffalo-flavored, like, pistachios or cashews or something. And they're expensive as fuck. So it's like, if I just buy nuts in bulk and then figure out how to season them myself, I think that's the way to go. Okay, I think this line is the only difficult one on this track. It's okay to cheat yourself. I know, but it's like, I need to watch how much I'm eating. Ooh, easy! Ice cream is pretty mid? Bro. Mac really wants to be cancer today? I know, right? Mac is wilding out. Think of it as improving your mental health. <laughs> you know, if I use that mentality towards everything, then I would be very unhealthy. Like, talking about healthy snacks, I have watermelon. Another thing, I got a watermelon and no one else is eating it, so I have to eat it. You shouldn't feel guilty, but I understand people have complicated relationships with food. Yeah. I have talked about it before. Like, I have the bad habit of binge eating. So. It's like. Wait, what did I get? I got first. Yeah, I got first. So, like, I'm trying to, like, get out of that habit. Because I think the last. Because, like, I usually tend to overeat if I'm stressed or anxious. And. I found other better ways to self-regulate and cope, so like I haven't been like binging as much, but I've been snacking more. So that's why I'm trying to have like healthier snacks. You guys just be buying food? Well, I'm in charge of grocery shopping, so it's it's my fault. But it's also like <laughs> that sounds really gross. I mean watermelon milk seems fine. You know, strawberry and banana milk is pretty good. I think it's because, um, like, watermelon is wet, so I feel like it wouldn't- Oh, what's that mushroom there? That seems kind of weird. That's off-putting. You don't ask them what they like? Well, okay. Not to talk shit, but you know how when people are like, oh, what do you want to eat? And they're like, oh, I don't know. And it's, it's hard. 
And I'm like, oh, what snacks do you guys, do you guys want? And they're like, oh, uh, I don't know. I was like, okay, bitch. Like, it's just, oh, whoa, what is this Bart? It's frustrating. Not you calling me out, Lamo. Orange flavored milk? Okay. I feel like that wouldn't be good. The only time it might be fine, like, you know, orange creamsicles. But mixing something sour with milk seems disgusting. Like, you know how they had the Sour Patch Kids milk or cereal? And it made the milk sour? Like, I watch people do food reviews. And it's just like, how is that appetizing? Because when I think of oranges, I think sour. I don't think sweet. I want to write down a list of everyone's favorite snacks and then feed them whatever for dinner. True. I mean, it's only week two, baby. It's only week two. I have lots of time to learn and get better, right? Yeah, because, like, I want to get, like, healthy snacks. Like, I want to get fruit and shit. Because there's a, like... How would you call it? Because, you know, when you go to Safeways, everything is, like, a dollar more than if you go to Walmart. And then... What you call it? There's a Costco nearby, but I don't have a membership card. And there's, like, other lower-priced bulk grocery stores, you can call them. You almost got second place if it weren't for falling off on the last turn? Damn. That's pretty good. For a first attempt? Good job, Cokes. Hi, Ethan. You hated Costco? Is it because, like, there's too many options? I think it's partially it. And, like, the thing with, um... Like, going to- <laughs> I fell off. <laughs> the thing with, like, buying a book, too, is that you don't go- You don't eat the food in time and they have to throw it away. That's why, like, I don't like bulk as much. Hi, Brian! Welcome in, hun! Hope we're doing well today. I got one second! I was so close. Can we get some peace ideas for Brian? Dude, I was so goddamn close. Three points short. Should I- Can I try again? I wanna- knock out these three-star trophies today. I'll do it one more time. I'm gonna ask, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, after this one... Wait, look, I'm so close. <laughs> Sad. Okay, after this, we'll try online. So many old people, it's overwhelming. <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like that's true. Cause my mom, she would go to Costco with my neighbor cause she had a account and she's old. <laughs> like she's got like great grandkids, I think. Yeah, the samples are great. That's the fun part about Costco. My thoughts on the little Debbie Christmas cakes? I think they're fine. Like, every time I, my parents would go grocery shopping, they would always come home with, like, those little Debbie cakes. Because my sister, she loves the strawberry shortcake rolls. But she hates strawberries, and she hates cream cakes. So I don't understand why she likes it. I don't... I used to love those, like, fake-ass cakes and treats when I was younger, but as an adult, I'm just like, this is just pure raw sugar. And I don't need this much sugar in my life. So I would never go to the store and buy them now. Okay, I am doing horrible. My lines are ass. I can't even, like, list some of my favorite, like, Little Debbie treats. They're all kind of mid, in my opinion. They're always usually dry, way too sweet. I think I did like the Little Brownies, you know, with the, like, crispy chocolates on it. Like, the rainbow ones. Like, those were fun, because I would split them with my sister when I was younger. But they're just way too sweet. I mean, I'm a sucker for sweet things, but... 
I like more natural sugars. Like, I think that's why I gravitate towards, like, fruit flavors. Cosmic brownies, that's what they were called. That was it. Oh, you know what I do like? I do like the mini pies. Whoa! Huh? Dude, I was flying off that thwomp. That was eyes a motherfucker. I need to figure out this one. But that was a bit better. Mini pies? I, I don't think they were Little Debbie, because we'd always get the store. No! I'm resetting. I'm resetting. Cosmic brownies are actually radioactive, huh? Yes. I'm in my savory era. I don't think I've ever had a savory era. I've always, like, I always will get sweet things. So I'm finishing the prediction. There was no way I was going to get fucking first. Zebra cakes are pretty good. Are pretty good. But there's not enough cream. Does the sub goal for tonight still exist? Yeah, I'll do the Cult of the Lamb today. Because we hit 40 earlier. What? What's our sub? Yeah, we're at 40. We hit 40 today. That was our goal yesterday, so. We'll, we'll do Cult of the Lamb today. Uh. The unicorn cakes are good. I don't understand what the whole fad with, like, unicorn flavored things. Because there's so many, like, obscure flavors. Like, what flavor is unicorn? I see, like, the unicorn cakes, the unicorn pudding. And I'm like, huh? Is this what the kids like? Eating fake horses and shit? Oh, I've never gone in there. I don't like that path. I assume it's, like, berry or cotton candy flavored. Like, I want to try it for a gag. But what if it tastes bad? Because it's probably going to take face. It's probably going to taste fake as fuck. That's why unicorns went extinct. We ate them all. Damn. But then how come I only seen them recently? Like in the past two years or something. Oh my god. Actually, snipe. Fuck! <laughs> Love that. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah, that's an Autobot term. <laughs> Love that. Dude, I hate this track. If I don't get first, I'm ending stream. Not, no joke. I'm not joking. This one makes me really mad. I would do a little mukbang. Yeah, doing a little Debbie mukbang would go crazy. I'm not gonna steal that idea because that was your idea, Meg. Fuck! Dude, I hate this track. Who likes this track? Type 1. go oh wait it is ethan love mal i saw max message first <laughs> oopsie <laughs> you like this check what the fuck is wrong with you i hate this one i still got first though easy it's like okay the thing with twitch chat is that i look at the bottom messages first and on my screen i can probably see two four six eight ten twelve I can see 15 messages on my screen at once. So if there's like 20 that I've missed, then I don't see the the oldest five. So oopsie. How many Megan scam ya? Megan lied, people died. Don't say that. <laughs> okay, prediction!
<laughs> I'm feeling evil. I'm in first. Easy. There's a mystery box is in the center. Yeah, the Swiss rolls taste really fake. Because I don't really like chocolate pudding or chocolate cake because it doesn't taste like chocolate. It tastes like cocoa powder and it's not the same. No! Dude, this line at the end! Or like when the icing gets stuck to the little cardboard paper on the bottom. And then you gotta lick it clean. Twinkies taste acidic. Wait, I think Twinkies are the only like free wrapped cakes that I like. Fuck. It's cause they're they actually are kind of moist, like they're not super dry. Ooh, good line. Clean. No. Ah! Okay, we're good. We're saved. <laughs> that was way too close. Oh, the banana Twinkies are good. Like the minion skin. <laughs> Halfway through, baby. Not using the minion audio on TikTok. All you guys comment on it, they're like, dead sound, why are you using this? And I think it's so funny to use ironically. You know why? Because it farms comments. Easy. What is going on with TikTok? Uh, nothing crazy. Dude, how are they tricking? Oh, I finally nailed that turn! You're not going for the debate? <laughs> Has anything controversial happened? I don't know. My For You page isn't- it's no longer streamers. I've kind of gotten back onto like Normie TikTok. But I don't really look at my recommended tab as much anymore. Like, I usually post and get out. Oh, there wasn't a speed pad here before. <laughs> Peace in 17 all mark for you, page, As it should be. You guys should only be watching my videos. Talking about editing, I need to get more clips queued up. Because I only have enough clips for like two weeks from now. I need to get to editing. But I need to wait till I can get more flash drives in the mail. Because I have like no storage space left on my laptop. So I can't download any more VODs to edit. Oh my god. Still got first. Yeah, if I didn't post on TikTok, I wouldn't use the platform. Because I had no desire to use it before I started streaming. Guys, I'm so close to a three-star gold trophy. And my foot keeps falling asleep.
Okay, this is gonna be the run. Okay, I'm not going to trick off these ramps because I don't- the turn is a bit too tight for me. Now, I understand it's normal to get annoyed of like making sounds at the dinner table like people- like that's a lot of people's pet peeves. It doesn't really bother me because I remember the first time I had um one of my previous partners over for dinner. <laughs> Cause like, my family, we don't talk much, so like, we were just sitting at the table like, eating. And, um, after dinner, they were like, You guys chew really loud! <laughs> and I was like, dude, I had no idea. Cause like, apparently, I, I click my teeth a lot when I chew. That's why I don't necessarily eat on camera often. But I had literally no idea. <laughs> but, you know, it doesn't- it doesn't bother me at all. I think it's because, like, I just tune those sounds out. I think the one that does kind of bother me- I don't say anything, though, is, like, lip smacking. Because, like, genuinely, how hard is it to close your mouth when you chew? Like, genuinely. It's not that difficult. But I can understand. It's just, like, habitual and it's hard to break a habit. No! Sub Nix, I appreciate that. Thank you for a prime sub. I'm really fucking mad. But welcome in, hon. Thank you. W? Why say W? That's where you fell off. I usually don't fall off there. I thought I had it. I'm really mad. For the resub? <laughs> Better be for the fucking resub. Dude, I, I was so close. I was right there. Twitch is falling apart. Yeah, they're launching new beta react functions, so there's probably gonna be issues with the Twitch UI today. They posted it on their main account or their Twitch support account on Twitter. I would recommend people follow it. Dude. So close. I hate this. I'm looking at my notes of things to talk about. And... It says... One of my notes is decorating. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> yeah, Mac. Try refresh your tab if you're having issues. I, on my Twitch POV, like, my Twitch view, uh, we'll try online now. On my <laughs> I usually hide my Automod queue, because I'm in my head. If Automod deletes it, then I don't need to see it. <laughs> and I'm just looking through the Automod queue. <laughs> and you guys are talking about the oatmeal cream pies. <laughs> you guys all got collapsed. <laughs> Oh, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> How's the move going? It's going good. It's going good. You know, we've been here for basically two weeks now because we moved on Thanksgiving Day. And we're mostly all settled in. You know, getting used to each other. So. Why is that a bad word? You know why. The tree looks so nice back here. I got the multicolored lights because they were on sale. And I kind of wanted to get like traditional white or yellow. Yeah, that looks cute, huh?
Oh! I know what I was gonna talk about when it comes to decorating. <laughs> I remember now. I'll go into it next race. We're warming up. Oh, if I get a first in the online, I will give chat a sub. So nobody distract me. Easy. <laughs> uh, one day you'll learn. Fuck you! Dude, I was about to throw the green shell at them and then they got me. Damn. If you get first this race, I'll match your gifted. Ooh! Ooh! I like that steak. Fuck! Sh sorry. Got a shake on it? I'm racing right now. Fuck me! Sorry. I'm shaking. I shook. It might not happen though. Easy. Okay, I don't know if they had protection or not. What?! The green shell collided with the red shell. That's fucking bullshit! Actual bullshit. Okay, the lightning bolt could've saved me there. Dude, what is that actually? Dude, first is so far ahead now. Damn it! Well, okay, I said if I get first any race from this point on today, I will give Chad a sub. We got 30 minutes. Because we're going to do Animal Crossing today, finally. You third? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, you said this race, damn. They're gonna hit me. Come on! Uh... <laughs> well, I still got third, so Believer still won that prediction. I'll be nice and give you another chance. Ooh. Can I have a sub? You're already a sub. So, no. I, w I always give to a non-sub. But it might not- I, Dude, I got top three, though. I got close. Like, I'm sagging. Top three is still really good. I'll be nice and give you another chance. Thank you, Mac. Thank you, Mac. Mac, very kind. Dude, I got so close. This watermelon isn't ripe, but it's still good. Why is it brown? Are you colorblind? <laughs> sorry, that could have been ableist. I'm sorry. And their name is Tomato Sus. <laughs> Dude, Rosling is huge. How many more chances do I get? <laughs> I'm in 12, I'm in 12. This game. Dude, how many still in the last? I hate this game. 
Oh, dude! This is why I can't drive IRL. I would just hit every car, every pedestrian. Dude, why the fuck are you throwing behind you fucking jackass? Anyway, I'm getting mad. I need to calm down. Why am I getting sniped so much? Hold, I might be saved. Yeah, all I want is top three. Dude, we both got clapped. Get fucked. Will we ever get Mario Odyssey 2? One day. Give me a bow bill. Wait, hold! Ain't no way! Okay, four. Fourth is pretty good. Going from last to fourth is really good. In a very long time, probably. One day, surely. That triggered one has always been there, though. Yeah, it's always been there. Just gotta open your eyes. Also, we are past 30 minutes in the stream, so it's time for me to tell you guys. If you're new here, follow the stream. If you follow... Um... <laughs> fuck. If you follow, you can type in chat. And if you're already following, make sure you have goal like notifications turned on. Smash that bell. Only 75% of you guys have notifications turned on. So turn them on, okay? Okay. <laughs> Wait, two first. There's only seven people in this race, so my odds of getting top three and first are drastically increased. Sherbert Land is one of my weaker tracks, though. Hmm. I'm gonna win. I'm right in front. I tried. Oh. Dude, why are you holding the red shell? You're literally in second. That was a mistake. You can tell. I can't tell who has notifications on, but my Twitch analytics tells me which percentage of my follower count has them on. It's interesting because it tells, in your Twitch analytics, it tells you like how many people click on the notification, how many people have them turned on, and then you can also look back at like up to a month's worth of notifications to see which ones perform better. 75 sounds like a lot. Well, it's only, it's at like 68%, I think. So I just round up to 70. I just show up. Well, not everybody's like that. You know, for the non-diehard Peace and 17 fans. You know, they don't watch every stream. And that's fine. But theoretically, if people have notifications turned on, they are more likely to actually click on your stream and click off. Hmm, I'm in sixth place. Dude, how this happened? This was my race to win. How did I fuck up? I feel like I had to like take too many L's. Oh 
Oh no! Going to the mall tomorrow? That sounds nice. I need to go to the mall here. I haven't gone to the mall yet. Fuck. Because you know I'm saving my money. The money that I don't have. <laughs> oh wait. I didn't tell you guys. Did I tell you guys? I told you guys yesterday. But my sister, she found her like stimulus cards when she was cleaning her room. So she's up 2k. Because she just never deposited it. So she basically has paid off all of her moving expenses and buying the household things. So. Yeah. So she gave me like 500 bucks. To spend on groceries, of course, and stream. <laughs> Peace I2W? No, it's my sister W. <laughs> Wister? <laughs> Yeah, going to the mall during Christmas is fun. In terms of, like, everything is, like, decorated. Everything is happy. It's way too crowded. Because, like, I'm making my friends presents this year. I'm not going to buy them things. <laughs> Can I get a picture with Santa? No. <gasps> oh, DLC! Isn't the whole concept of taking a picture with Santa kind of weird? I know me as an adult looking back on it, like sitting on a stranger's lap in a costume. It's kind of weird, right? Because I remember they would have it for like Santa and then sometimes for the Easter Bunny for Easter. And it's so normalized. It just is weird. Because, like, it's- for Santa, it's always, like, older men. Like, why- Like, is there, like, a list of people who are applying that want to be Santa? That want to have kids sit on their lap? I remember when I was little, I think our parents stopped doing the Santa pictures when I was, like, five. Because ever since then, my dad would, like, dress up as Santa. And then he would, like, visit our house. And, like, we would take pictures with him. But me and my sister being absolutely clueless, we thought it was like actually Santa or somebody else dressed as Santa. Like, we can still see his face, we just didn't realize it was him. I think it's because he would shave, because he would wear like the fake beard. Yeah, it was cute. But still kind of weird, like how... Like, oh, come here, little boy. <laughs> Sit on Santa's lap. It just, it's just so weird. Because, like, my parents would never let me, like, touch anybody. Like, if I wanted to give, like, a hug to my friend that was not allowed when I was little. They're like, okay, oh, yeah, sit on Santa's lap. That's totally fine. Why am I in ninth place? This is really bad. Going for the Megan skip? Dude, this is only lap two. This, this track feels like it goes on forever. Game changer? No way. No way. No! No! That wasn't supposed to be for me! Damn it! I was so close! Damn. I mean, it would have been like a stretch to get first. Dude, that was so close. That was a self clap? Yeah, but I did get the guy who wasn't first. Because I think he tried to blast the bomb away, but they missed. I still got top three. Guys, I'm doing pretty well. Minus the times where I did really bad. We have 10 minutes to get the first place, guys. 
Yeah, watermelon's almost gone. There's a Santa school? I feel like that's also a self-report, if you're enrolling into a Santa school. I don't know, it just seems kind of weird. We got ten people in here. My soap offer still stands. Let's go. We got a guilt mag. <laughs> I don't- fuck, I don't know about this track though. This one's deep as seal. No way. It's probably gonna be easier because it's 150cc. Because I know earlier we were doing 200. Something that I've noticed whenever I stream is that I use the word we. And I don't do it in like a malicious way because I know that's a way to like kind of keep you guys involved and parasocially feel like you are in the stream. But that's kind of what like what streaming is, right? You guys are watching, typing in the moment, experiencing or experiencing the game in real time with me. Like it feels weird to say that I did something on stream. That's why I always use we. Because if I didn't have, like, viewers, or if I didn't have, like, an active chat room, then it would just be me. And it would be a drastically different experience for both me and the viewers. Okay, that bullet bill didn't really help. I got scammed. Okay, that turn was a lot easier not going up the half pipe. I might have a chance. At least top three. Oh, come on. Oh, at least it didn't spin out. Usually they have you spin out, right? Stay away! Damn it. I got eight minutes. I can do this. First place, here I come. Damn. I hate this. Dude, there's a guy with 2k points. How are they in second? It's not fire. Okay, so we're at 152 uptime. We probably have time for like two or three more races. Wario Goldmine is my track. Not my best track, but one of my favorites. I still need to figure out the lighting for this room. Because I have my window right here. So that's why you get like this light right here. And you can still see the shadow right here from my face. And I have both of my ring lights on this side of my room. Like, it looks better, but it's not as like, I guess you can see as flat lighting as I want. I'd have to get like another ring light or a more powerful one. So excited for Christmas. I'm indifferent. I'm indifferent. Cause like, I don't know if I'm going to go back home or not. And I don't really want to. So that's something that I'm trying to come to terms with. 
My foot's asleep. stream on Christmas. I think that'd be a bit much. You know, streaming on an actual holiday day? Holiday day. <laughs> I don't know how many people would watch in like how- okay. I know whenever I watch a stream on a holiday, I feel bad. Because I'm like, I'm not doing anything on this holiday. I'm watching a Twitch stream on a holiday. Like, I feel like a loser as the watcher. You celebrate the day before, really? Because my family, we're not religious, so like Christmas for us is just opening presents, and that's it. We used to do a dinner, but we don't do it anymore. I'd watch it if it were later in the day. Hmm. But what would we what would we do on Christmas Day? You have dinner and then you open gifts at night? We usually open gifts right in the morning. Because <laughs> you know the anticipation, you can't be holding it up for too long. I'm caught up! Fuck me, dude. Dude, first is so far ahead. I'm really close though. All we need is a blue shell. Then I can catch up. No way! That piranha plant ate all my green shells. Dude, that, that fucked me. That actually ruined the run. I think there's like a few Flash like Christmas themed games. I was gonna do a separate stream for that. Fuck. Dude, I hate everything. I know I'm not gonna win Boo Lake, but everybody else is gonna choose it. And I'm a conformist. I don't know why you feel bad about consuming content on Christmas. It just, uh. What's a way of saying it without being like, too sad? I think it's because when you see people online or your friends talk about like how much they love their families or how close they are with their family and you don't have that it just feels like it's not right you know what i mean like i just feel sad that things aren't good or aren't better but yeah it's fine christmas with friends is good too yeah I think an important thing that I just have to remember and reassure myself is that you don't pick your family, but you do choose your friends and who you surround yourself with. messing with me because I don't know this track at all. Damn it. Big top three. Mac is lowering the stakes. Let's go. <laughs> Blue gel? Watch me get first though. That'd be crazy. Only on this race book. 
<laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen. I'm gonna try my darndest though. I'm losing on purpose because I feel bad for Mac, okay? This is brutal. Nah, I think it's because like everybody's getting used to this track and I've been getting bombarded. The blue shell? Wait, hold! Wait! Damn it. <laughs> it's fine, we got time for one more race. But you know what else is time for? An ad, because guys, we are two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. So you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad reviewing all month long. Or, ooh, what should I choose? Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime available. After the end, we're gonna do one more race. My last chance at an attempt at first place. So if you don't wanna miss a single second, subscribe, easy clap. It's Mana, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. I think mine just ran out, oh no. Sag, I'm sorry, potato. Hopefully you have enough channel points, huh? Okay, last race. Remember, if I get first, I get the sub. Win for potato, yes I will. <laughs> I will try. Okay, 150. Yeah, refresh your top potato. Because I don't have any auto mods in my queue. Okay, I'm not gonna talk. I'm gonna try hard. I need a dub today. Even though I got like two seconds somehow. Okay, no items, but still in sixth place. Not bad. Pretty good. I do one more. I want to do one more. I was doing decent. I was doing it. One more. Ooh, Peach Gardens. Yeah, good. 
I was only gonna do one more if it was a DLC. One more. One more. It's so hard to stay ahead in the Mushroom Gorge stage. <laughs> Not fair. Okay, we'll do one more race and then we'll do Animal Crossing. So everybody, participate in the prediction. If you're a believer, go all in. If you're a doubter, go all in. Any gamblers? Also, I forgot to mention, um, if you're new here, follow, because we're two hours into stream. If you follow, you get to tap in chat. And if you're already following, turn no notifications on. Only 70% of you guys have notifications turned on. Oh. This is ass. Music park. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna win. I'm waiting for them to drop the banana. Oh, that was close. Okay, my lines are pretty good. Okay, second place. Oh, that was not cool. <laughs> no item. Stay away, bad touch! <laughs> come on! Blue shell, come on. I still have a chance. Fumbles, but I'm still in fourth. Nice try, fucker. Show. Okay, I got top three. That's still good. Not a first, but still good. I was able to stay ahead for most of that race, and that was... Impressive, even though, like, I fumbled a few times. It's good. But I'm sorry. Not good enough. It might not be a first. But really good. I think, because the new DLC came out today, more people are playing. Some more of the secret sweats are coming out. Damn. Still top three. Good job, believers. Actually got a dub. Yeah, Mac plus five dollars. <laughs> okay, so Chaz, I'm gonna switch gears to Animal Crossing. So if you're new, or if you're regular, we haven't played in a few weeks. So we're gonna do our dailies. We're gonna catch up and see what special events are happening during December. Um, and it's more just chatting vibes, so you can ask questions. It's more chill. So I'm gonna swap up the game. Wait, I just realized. Is there a Christmas event in Animal Crossing? If so, I might stream on Christmas. Like, that's what we could do. Maybe. I don't know. 
Because I'll probably be home for Christmas. Yeah? Oh. Because I know there was a Thanksgiving event, but I didn't do it. Because I forgot. Oh, because I was moving on Thanksgiving, that's why. I would have streamed it. Because I think Thanksgiving is boring. What should we title the stream? Oh yeah, the reindeer comes, you're right. Okay, we gotta think of a banger title. I was so bored on Thanksgiving, Sag. Okay, let's think of a good title. Hmm. Gotta think of something funny. Hmm. <laughs> How do you spell overrated? Okay, I need to make sure I spell it right. Oh, I just remember it's gonna be snowy soon in game. That's my favorite. Overrated has two R's. I heard Eastward is good. It is very good. What do you guys think of my title? Is it good? Do you think we'll farm? Is it good? Would you click on it? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I disagree. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. We're gonna have some debates. Base take. Can we get some wokes in chat? My last piece. It's been so long. Okay. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Tibland, it is 1.16 p.m. on Wednesday, December 7th, 2022. By the way, since December is here, we put up some lovely toy decorations near Resident Services. I hope everyone comes by to check them out. Oh, I just know that CJ is visiting Tibland today. It sounds like he's just here to relax, but I know he's always interested in buying fish if you have any to sell. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Oh, is there a fishing tourney? We missed the fall one. I know we did. Damn, but there's a fishing tourney this month. Okay, we gotta change our fit as usual. I just realized there's like directional hearing so like if I click on this side I hear it in my left ear if I click here I hear it in my right ear dude that's crazy A red suit? <laughs> I 
<laughs> nah, I like the cowboy hat. <laughs> we are in America. See, I put on this fit, and they're breaking down my door. <laughs> Can I not change now? Cold Bubbles said no boots, and now I'm on boots, but now I can't change until Bubbles leaves. But look at that tree. Oh, also, can you guys see? My sister and our roommate went to GameStop and they found that. It's like a little blow-up Kirby. Ain't that cute? Because, like, GameStop had a bunch of um, Nintendo-themed decorations. But they didn't have them in store, so they're going to come in the mail soon. Because they had, like, the Mario Star as, like, string lights. They also had, like, a Mario Topper. Oh, that looks ugly. Oh, that doesn't match, though. White boots? Does that match? I don't know. I don't, I don't like any of them. I need some black boots. Some black cowboy boots. These heels will have to do. Because, like, I hate when, like, colors are different shades. Like, if it's different shades of black or different shades of blue together, I don't like it. Looking like this. With my hat brimmed like that. Oh, wintertime has to be the best time of the year. Like, everything looks frosted and it's so pretty. In game, of course. Oh, I missed Han's birthday. Hi, Water. Welcome in, Han. Hope we're doing well today. A turkey day. I missed that. Oopsie. None. Nook's Cranny is holding a massive sale from November 25th through November 30th. Oh. Sad. I missed Black Friday. Damn. Wait. Is Raymond gonna leave? Oh, Megan, I'm glad you're here. Uh oh. I know it's not my usual style to be serious, but I'm trying to make an important decision. Should I move away from Tibland? I feel like the bright lights of another island are calling me. Oh no, you guys know what time it is. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, what's today? Today's Wednesday. Hmm. We'll do a poll. As usual. Okay, poll is only up for a minute. So everybody go vote. Everybody, Pokemon go to the vote. Should Raymond move out? Okay, if Raymond moves out, he'll move out on Friday, right? Because I'm busy on Saturday and Sunday. Because if he leaves... Tomorrow, then we should be able to do an Aurora hunting stream on Friday, which we haven't done in a while because we did one last month. Everybody vote! Whoa, we have a lot of voters already. Everybody voting yes? 
Isn't Raymond like super rare though? Yeah, Raymond is cute. Everybody vote. Mandatory voting. He can't be forced to say. I feel like you said that every time, Coax. Okay. It appears chat has decided it is time for Raymond to leave Tibland with a 80% majority. <laughs> Can I make my vote worth five? You're literally trying to rig the elections, and that's undemocratic. I stand for democracy. And, if anybody don't know, for your Twitch um, polls, I understand. As the streamer, people can cheer bits or use channel points to put more votes in, to stuff the ballot boxes, you could say. So I could enable that, but that's not fair. Because one... We're all broke bitches, and we should hoard our channel points and not spend them. So, I don't think I'll ever do that option for polls, unless I become a greedy capitalist. And no longer a stinky socialist. Okay. Aurora won't come anyway? Shut up! What if she does? Okay, what if it's a Christmas miracle? Uh, I never thought this day would come, but I guess nothing can last forever, right? I will miss you, and I'm not just saying that. You've always had... Top billing in my heart. Enjoy your life on Timbaland while I sail away while I sail away into the unknown. Hopefully on a luxury yacht. <laughs> Sad. Not fair to the poor, but you should do it. Nah. Cause then like Mac and Koboba would rig the polls every time. That's not fair. The crusty crab is unfair. Mr. Krabs is in there. Nah, we ain't trying to rig it. <gasps> Look at that. Make it channel points then? Yeah, but still, you and Mac would rig it because you guys watch every stream so you'd have a boatload of channel points. But then it also encouraged people to watch the stream. But then it's still undemocratic. <gasps> this is basic, but it's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Why would you get a pink tree? Like, you know how people get the fake trees? I don't mind people getting fake trees, but... The colored ones are just tacky, in my opinion. I think the only colored tree that's fine is a white tree. But, like, when people get, like, the blue or pink trees, it's just like, huh? Huh? Look how cute that is. I can't. With these hipster as glasses. I feel like those are too dark. This is so cute. It's basic, but it's cute. I'll wear it today. We don't need no cowboy fit no more. Oh, that's so cute. Why are you guys wanting? I want to look like a normal person sometimes, okay? The cowboy fit was quirky? Well, I'm not quirky, IRL. 
Isn't this, like, this is something you'd wear to, like, your mom's house. And chat's mom's house to leave a good impression. And then we bang. <laughs> okay, I bought one of these dresses already. Oh, to have money. The hat not being a beanie bugs me. I'm fine. I do. I think the build does look kind of weird. If I had money, I'd still dress the same. That's kind of how I feel too. Because like, wait, I gotta think. I had the thought, and then I lost it. The lights are cute. Okay, I remember now. Sorry. I, I blanked for a second. Yeah, I agree. I think designer clothes are ugly. Where it's just... Like, the brand printed as a tile. I think it's ugly. I think it's fine if they have like a patch or something, but having it all over as the print, I think looks ugly. And... Like if I had money, I wouldn't buy like too expensive things because... I think it's different if you grow up having money. Because you know, you've always had like your basic necessities met. But if you've grown up in poverty or like not having enough money for food or clothes or rent, I feel like it'd be harder for me or that person to spend their money if they had money. Like, I would still treat myself sometimes. But I wouldn't be able to drop, like, 10k on a suit or something. Because when I buy things, I always look at if it has utility or not. That's why I tend to buy more, like, basic clothing, like, things I can wear every day. Like, I'm not gonna buy dresses or skirts. Because I don't go out much. And when I do go out, I don't dress up. Because I don't go to nicer places, because they're expensive. So. Like, if I were invited to, like, a party or an event, obviously I would dress up. But otherwise, I wouldn't really. Okay, I need more money. Because I want that harp. Do I have that harp? Oh, why am I in clothing? <gasps> I do have it! I don't need it. Good thing I didn't buy it. Okay, I skipped through all the, di all the dialogue when they were talking about the toy shit. I think I just have to buy all the toys, right? Can I go back and buy another one? Oh yeah, I can. I'll buy like three. Because we're Mr. Moneybags. Yeah. I was thinking, if I don't go home to celebrate Christmas, I don't know what we're gonna do. Because it's probably just gonna be my sister and I, maybe a friend or two. But then it's like, then I gotta make dinner. And I make dinner every night. Like, ever since moving, I don't mind doing the housework and stuff. It's just, I don't want to be expected to do everything. 
Like last night, I was telling my sister, like, oh, can you take the trash can outside, like, put it on the road to be picked up? And she's like, no, you can do it. I was like, well, we agreed that I would do, like, cooking, cleaning, and laundry. Like, you can do the trash. That was what you were predetermined to do. And she's like, well, you didn't tell me to do it earlier. It's too late now. Granted, it's 7 p.m. She goes to bed at 7.30. And I'm like, well, you can still do it. And I check in at 7.30, at 8, and then at 9, because she was up watching TV last night. And she still didn't do it. And I was like, are you going to do it? And she was like, no. I'm like, okay. Well, it still needs to be done now. And she's like, well, you can do it. I'm like, granted, we've been here a week and a half. So we're still getting used to, like, being around each other. But it, it's hard because, like, I'm a pacifist. Like, I'll be firm if I need to. But I'm not picking for a fight. You know, I'm not going to pop off. Because she didn't take out the trash when I told her to. You know, I don't want to be like our parents. But also, I don't want her to be like a lazy fuck. It's kind of difficult because, like, I've learned that I'm definitely, like, gonna be seen as a parental figure. And I don't know if that's, like, a good thing. That's so early. Yeah, but she wakes up at 5 to go to work, so... No, she goes to bed at 7, she knocks out at 9, she gets her 8 hours, and she's set. Big sister things. I mean, it wasn't that much of an issue when we lived with our parents, right? Because obviously we had less responsibility. But now that we have to do everything on our own, she doesn't necessarily understand the, the level in which she has to be involved in things. And that's something she will learn. But, you know, still annoying. I don't know, I'm just complaining. I was talking to my friend about this this weekend when we were hanging out. And I was like, you know, I complain a lot. Like, if I'm talking to, like, my friends, like, at a call or something, or texting, or, like, on stream, too, I complain a lot. And I think it's fine, because I think I do it in, like, an entertaining way. I'm not, like, too, like, humbug about it. Like, I try and keep it lighthearted. But I feel like people relate to you more with negative things than positive things. Like, people will get excited talking about their passions or interests or, like, fandoms they're into. But I feel like everybody can connect on something negative or things they don't like. I know in our chat room, everybody, like, has to give their opinion whenever we talk about food, whether they like it or don't like it. Complaining over little pointless things is fun. Yeah. I agree, it's fun, it's like harmless. And it's not like we're complaining about people. I think there's a line that needs to be drawn like if you're like talking shit or like complaining about people. I think that's mean. But complaining about little things is fine. And the reason I was thinking about it cause like, <laughs> I got a comment on YouTube that I had to delete cause they literally just said stop complaining. <laughs> and it was me just talking about something random. I was like, okay. Because, like, I don't like comments bother me, but they still kind of, like, they, they pick at you, you know? Because, like, I told myself I'm going to have to delete any type of, like, negative or backhanded comment. Because negativity farms more negativity, so. But it's still funny. What am I gonna do when Christmas is over? Like, I like seeing the tree back here. It's cute. I wouldn't even think to pinpoint you as a complainer. Really? I mean, I think it's the way I talk about things. Because I usually don't, like... I don't think I straight up complain. Is it, It's usually, like, an anecdotal thing that could be seen as complaining. Okay, because I think complaining is where you're talking about something without a solution. Or like without like an introspective perspective on it. Because to me when I think of complaining, I'm like, oh my god, what I just did, oh my sister didn't take out the trash. Like if I would have like ended it there, it would have been complaining. But then I was like, well, I understand that she's getting used to the new life changes. 
And that's kind of like a more mature outlook on it, right? You can put hearts on the tree for Valentine's. Oh my god, it's CJ! But what am I gonna do for January? Because, like, I want to change the background every month. I want to do themed. Wait, I think for January I said we were gonna do Wii Week. Like, the Nintendo Wii. There was a CJ in chat. I mean, CJ is a streamer. It's canon that he's a live streamer. How many viewers do you think CJ has? He's gotta have at least, like, 10k, right? He's gotta be in the top 10%. He's in everybody's Animal Crossing streams. Okay, I'm not digging up that bug. They're annoying to catch. Not worth my trouble. Yeah, she, CJ needs to shout me out. I need to get that residual clout. Shoutouts don't really work. I know like people or streamers will use like a shoutout command through like a third-party bot But nobody's gonna click a link But since Twitch integrated about two months ago the shoutout command where people can follow directly in the chat like <laughs> you guys want to see how it looks like um, Everybody uh, click the banner in chat and follow the piece in our channel Wowie instead of people clicking an external link they just click right in chat. They don't have to leave the page. That was honestly a really good change. Um. Because, like, it... I don't necessarily interact with a lot of other streamers, so I don't get shouted out often, and that's fine. I don't care. Because I don't think that form of networking is a good way to grow. Like, it's a good way to boost your follower count doing collabs, but it's not a good way to form a more tight-knit viewer base. I don't want to say community because me community is cringe. But you want people to watch you because they like you or like what you do. Not because they like your streamer friend. Because one thing that annoys me so much. Um, if I were to do collabs and gain a following because of one collab. And people just talk about that other personality all the time. And talk about their inside jokes. It would annoy me. Because it's kind of like if you're sitting at the lunch table in school and it's like five of you and three of the people are talking about one person and not like talking about you at all or trying to interact with you at all. They're just talking about that one select friend. It's like that. It's just it's a very polarizing way to build your audience. And I don't think I like it. Because with that type of like collab stuff, people will grow to like you over time, but not many will. Okay, let's get back to work. Collabs are weird, yeah. That's why like if I ever do collabs, I probably would do one on one. Because, like, with a one-on-one -on -one collab, then you can still engage with your chat room, and it's fine. Because I know with, like, small streamers chat, like, I know the viewer base, like, feeds off of that attention you give them. And that's fine, because that's the dynamic. But I would never make collabs a regular thing. Because I think I would be sad hearing that somebody's most excited part, or like part of the weekly stream schedule, is like the collab and not my actual streams. I think that would make me sad. Oh, I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday, so I won't be able to stream Tuesday. So, awkward. <laughs> I think tomorrow's gonna be a short week. Oopsie. 
It's because, like, I couldn't schedule it any other day. So... But then that means next week we can just start off with holiday shit. Wait, I gotta, I gotta look at our content again. I think maybe next week we'll do ornaments and gingerbread houses. I think that'll be fun. Yeah, like another thing that's bothering me is that usually my homework assignments are due on Sundays. But for some reason, this month's class, they're due on Mondays. Granted, I could get the homework done earlier. But, you know. I've gotten less worse at procrastinating, but I still do it sometimes. Are you not on break? Well, usually, they would give you... Because last year, they gave us a week for Thanksgiving. But they didn't do that this year. So instead... Because they would give us like a week off in, th in November and then two weeks in December. So I think what they're doing this year instead, I have to look at the calendar again. Is since they didn't do a break at all for Thanksgiving. They're going to do, I think, three weeks of January we'll get off. Which is still pretty solid. Okay, my storage is full. No, I'm a hoarder. A what? Yeah, so I, I have to look again, but I think I'll have a few weeks in January off. Which is kind of weird. Because I think I'll get the week of Christmas off and then a few weeks of January. You not streaming is a sign to go to the thrift store? Me or you, dude? I love thrifting, though. Because even though the impact is small, the idea of using reusing things, I think, is really important. Me, but you should go? Oh. Um, yeah, I think I need more coats. But, like, what sucks is that they still haven't opened the dressing rooms for many clothes stores still. And, like, with my body type, like, I should try things on. Because, um... One of my friends, they got me, like, this vintage-looking... It wasn't Sanrio characters, but it was kind of in that style. And it was really cute. But, you know how sweaters, they look good if it's, like, a looser fit? Because, like, it fit my body type, but it wasn't loose. So it didn't look good. <laughs> and I was sad. Because it was really cute. I could probably show you guys later. Because it's downstairs. I think I'll go grab it now, actually, because I'm going to forget. <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back. Email only chat, have fun. I'll go grab it right now. I also need to grab more water too. So, I'll be back in like a minute, okay? Also, remind me to unmute if I forget, okay?
Yeah. So this was the sweater they got me. Isn't it cute? It's printed. But isn't it cute? But it doesn't fit me well. Because, like, it's, like, too tight. Because my arms are bigger, so it's, like, way too tight on my arms and it's too tight on my tummy. Like, it doesn't look good. And it's so cute. But I can't wear it. Anyway, that's the sweater. <laughs> that's my show and tell time. What am I doing in here? Oh, I was, I was selling shit. Yeah, big Sag. That's why, like, I hate going clothes shopping. Because, like, I have to try stuff on. And if I buy it and I try it on, it doesn't fit well. There's, like, GG's. Also, thank you guys for waiting. I also had to check the door because I got a package, so. Because, oh my god. So you know how I told you guys my mom was going to give me all of her art supplies, and that's fine? We still have to go get them, because we don't have no space. Because um, like I said, the garage is kind of damp. So they need to fix that before we can store stuff in the garage. Um. Oh wait, I need to sell things. My inventory is full. I hate being a hoarder. But I brought my mom's Cricut, which is like... A thing used to like cut paper or vinyl and you need like a sticky mat but I forgot the sticky mats and I'm not gonna be able to go back home for a bit cuz I taking the bus would be too long it would be like a two-hour trip cuz it's like a few towns away right so like I ordered some new mats in the mail so hopefully that was in the box did I'm a hoarder Holy, look at all this. I keep all these pears in hopes that I'll unlock the recipe, but I haven't yet, so I guess I can sell them. That Christmas tree is so cute. I wanted to get the flickering lights. But they were like two bucks more. And I was like, I don't need them. And like, if you look at the lights on camera. See how it looks like it's flickering? That's just because um, of the frame rate. Because like, it looks like that when I open my phone camera too. When will you be streaming later? Probably like... Maybe 4pm? Because I have to wait an hour between in which I end streams. Because if I don't wait an hour, then people don't get a notification that I'm live. That was why during the um, Mega Sports Mario Party event we did last time, that's why not a lot of people watched, because they didn't get the notification. Because I ended stream and then restarted within an hour. So whenever I end the stream, I'll wait an hour. And then I'll go live and play Cult of the Lamb. My goal is to beat World 3 tonight. Because, like, I was going to do Cult of the Lamb, like, just for funsies on Monday, but I was busy on Monday. What did I do Monday? Oh, I had to do homework. Okay, bye, Mac. We'll see you later, hon. I'll make sure to put your present from yesterday under the tree, but thank you, Mac. I'll see you later, hon. Yeah, homework. Because it was due Monday instead of Sunday, so I waited until Monday to do it. Okay, I think we can do CJ's fishing challenge. See what he has to say. Oh yeah, I have a little bit of homework to do today, but it shouldn't take more than like 20 minutes. So I'll probably end stream, do homework, and then go live. <laughs> CG here, coming at you, um, well, it's more like standing by you, I guess. <laughs> anyway, ever since I started doing my C-Sports challenges, I've been treading in a huge way. It's so slick, 
Each time someone ever gets a challenge, I offer to buy out their fish. I even pay a premium. I only offer to buy after a challenge, though. Keeps it interesting. <laughs> but everyone's bored. I get way more fish first for my live stream, and the lucky angler gets showered in bells. So how about a challenge, sea sports style, right now? Why not I make a ring and talk you up on my stream? Plus, my partner's into making slick collectibles if you want one. He's so talented. <laughs> you got it, chum. Time to dive in and school this challenge. Today, I want to see those small fry catching skills. Reeling through in row, all barrel eye size. As long as it's small, it'll count. So if you spot a crawfish or a frog out there, bring it aboard. And don't go catch another size fish or my subscribers will get mad. And there goes your streak. We can't get his subscribers mad. They'll make hate threads. Oh, and don't let him slip off your hook either. That'll cut your streak too. Sorry. Chat request. I know, I know. So many rules. But I gotta keep folks happy when my views drop. <gasps> Losing viewers. Now go catch something. <laughs> Yeah, we can't have CJ fall off, guys. Any promotion is good promotion. Yeah, any chatters from CJ's channel here today? <laughs> what would CJ's fans be called? CJers? CJ Frogs? <laughs> I mean, they're probably actually frogs. Oh, big fish? Can't catch it, though. see if somebody's made like an alt account on Twitch like role playing as CJ there's got to be somebody right Ooh, that's a four tapper I almost got jubated that's not a small f can somebody see good one good one <laughs> God damn it, I got debated. Well, I guess I can catch the big fish now. Since I've ruined the challenge. I wonder if CG is like the Mr. Beast in the Animal Crossing world. You know, he's just doing these wild challenges. No CJ channel pops up. Damn. Missed opportunity. Somebody make an alt right now. <laughs> I do think it's funny when people make, like, alt accounts for streamers chats. Like, I see it all the time in Hassan's chat where there's a guy who will, like, gift a sub and it's like, oh, Hassan's helicopter pilot or Hassan's housemate or something and it's funny. Like, chatters who RP are the best. Because, you know, they're just there to goof and gaff. CJ17. <laughs> Dude, imagine all the clicks I'd get. What? It's gone. I'm still annoyed at myself that I put clips from December into the November compilation. That was an oopsie. I think it's because I made the compilation not on the first of the month. So I got confused. <coughs> Bless me. 
Finally. A small fry. Ooh, I made parmesan tilapia the other night and it was so good. I know people will say that tilapia tastes like chicken and I never understood it. Because I made like plain tilapia a month ago. And my sister was like, this tastes like chicken. And I was like, huh? Because apparently tilapia is quote unquote tasteless. So however you season tilapia will make it taste like the seasoning. Kind of like how chicken is. I thought you made chicken? Yeah, I made chicken last night, but the other night I made tilapia. Because I cook every other night. I thought that was a cough. I'm weird. Okay. Because when I was little, I told myself that... I would spread less germs if I sneezed with my mouth open. And this was like little five-year-old Megan, okay? Dumb as fuck. So ever since then, I would sneeze but have my mouth open. Like really wide. I wouldn't try to like cover my mouth as well. Because I thought, oh, when you sneeze, the germs come out of your nose. So then just over the years, my body conditioned itself to more so cough instead of sneeze when I have to sneeze. So that's why it sounds like a cough. I know, it's weird. Little child Megan did a lot of weird things. <laughs> oh, you guys wanna hear another self-report? <laughs> uh, should I self-report? Oh no. This one's too embarrassing. You've always sneezed with your mouth closed? See, I'm just weird. Oh, another thing I did as a kid is I remember being in recess and I would pick flowers and there was this like sewage grate in the field and I convinced all the other kids that there was a leprechaun at the bottom of the sewer. So every recess we would all pick flowers and make like sacrifices of flowers of course, not people, of flowers down and like throw them down the sewer grate. To, like, make the leprechaun happy. And one day he would come out. You know, I could be- I was a natural born court leader. Essentially, is what I'm saying. No, I'm not gonna self-report the other thing. I'm not gonna do it. It's too embarrassing. Where's all the small fries? <laughs> You're a creative little kid, yeah. <laughs> I'm what you could say, unique. Not weird, it's unique. I can't wait till it snows in game. So excited. Damn, it's still weird to think that I've been streaming for a year. Oh no. But where do I get lasers? Hey, Spud. So, last night I had a bad dream. I was in my house, okay? And there was this fish in my living room. Floating. And the floating fish had a really deep voice. When I talked, my windows rattled. It said, You make trace lousy decorating choices. I'm still freaked out, hipster. Could you come over and keep me company? It helped take my mind off that judgy nightmare fish. No. I'm not your fucking bitch. I get it. I mean, what if that fish wasn't just a dream? What if it's really there and still passing judgment on my decoration skills? You shouldn't have to deal with that. Yeah, this is one of those things I have to face on my own. Yeah, don't be a little bitch. Can't come crying to me every time you stub your little toe. Sorry, I... <laughs> I go through life with a firm hand. Shake, of course. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't think I've ever been too freaked out by nightmares, because I've always had the understanding that it's not real. Like, I can easily separate myself from reality in a dream. Like, you know the cliche where, oh, I had a dream, my boyfriend was cheating on me, so I'm gonna be extra mean and rude to my boyfriend today and project onto him. 
I never was like that because it's like it's a dream. It's not real. Like I know people will try and make associations between your dreams to like how you actually feel about stuff, but it's like it's not real. There's no reason why you should have people in your actual life like and project onto them because you had a bad dream. trend where you believe you can eat the erasers off the pencils <laughs> I think it's funny you said it was a trend how many people fell up for that debate did you fall for that debate come on did you I mean I feel like every elementary had a, a kid who drank or ate glue right there was always that one one kid so I remember that kid obviously they're doing it for attention because like he would like put a, a dab of glue on his finger turn around in his chair make eye contact and lick his finger <laughs> talking about making contact it's time for you to contact your bank because we are in another hour in the stream so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads but you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime available. After the ad, we're going to finish this CJ challenge and then do some You Laughy Lose. So if you don't want to miss a single second, all you got to do is subscribe. Easy. Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. I think Mac would rate it 6 out of 10. Yeah, it wasn't that good. It was a stretch, honestly. It was a stretch. Oh, wait. Did you guys see Raymond? He got stuck at that pole. He was, like, going like this. Oh, he's really mad. Oh, we gotta talk to Raymond. Raymond's really mad. Look at him! I guess some folks haven't been paying attention to my horoscope today. What does that mean? So my horoscope said that I should expect a great surprise today. And wouldn't you know it, Fritz actually gave me a gift. But it was a blue crayon. How basic do you think I am? It's still a gift or you should get over it. Dude, they're both kind of snarky. It's still a gift. Yeah, I guess so. But can you think of a less appropriate gift? It's like, do you even know me? Well, I guess I feel better. Good talk, Megan. Okay, honestly, a crayon is kind of a crummy gift. But a single crayon, not even a whole box set, just a single blue crayon. I see why he'd be mad. I mean, if I get a crayon for Christmas, I'd probably be disappointed. You know, seeing everybody else get video games full crayon sets and I get a single crayon. He can eat the crayon. It's gluten free. Yeah. He seems like the type of guy to be on some frou frou diet. He needs to be grateful. Dude, would you be happy if you got a single crayon? Type one if you'd be happy with a single crayon. If you type one, you're lying. You write your list to Santa of all these wonderful things you want and then you get a single crayon? You guys are lying. I'm gonna put crayons in your guys' stocking. 
Who wants up, fish? You need some pick the name for your angler, Sony yet? <laughs> huh? You got three fish in a row, and everyone was a small fry? Now that's gonna make the chat explode! So much for my sea sports challenge, wait a fish! Photo op! <laughs> but wait to wreck that sea sports challenge! What a haul! Hey! Wanna sell any of those fish? Cause I wanna buy! I got bells for nautical mouse, so chime on in! What? Mac is back? I thought you were gone forever, just like my dad. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Ooh, a secret present? You wanna leak? Do you think your mom's in chat? Oh wait, I talked to her last night. Got it. I need to stop. Do your mom jokes are so overused and boring and lame. Anyway, talking about lame. <laughs> I think we can wrap up Animal Crossing for now. <laughs> so let's pause it here. And we can do some you laugh, you freaking lose. Oh, it's her 50th? Oh, that's cute. Okay. So HD. Yeah, this is my lovely DSLR. <laughs> 50 grams. <laughs> that is an option. <laughs> that would be a full box set of crayons. <gasps> you know, oh no way, no way. No way. Oh shit, it's not capturing. Hold. You know how all of this channel's like videos got taken down? They're back! Guys, they're back. Now we have content for ages. They're back. Because remember there was only like five in the channel? Now they're like all back. Let's go. Okay, let's change our title. Yeah, no way. We got lucky. It's a Christmas miracle. Oh, sorry. It's, oopsie. Sorry, I forget to switch. Okay. You guys know the rules? If I laugh, I end stream. If chat laughs, type one in chat and tell me what made you laugh. Okay, okay. Mano, obviamente que não, né? Eu botei fita, aí tu fecha, e aí sucesso, né, meu amigo? Damn. Look at this shit, go. God almighty. Okay, here we go. I said, do you wanna fight? Do you wanna catch his hand? Bitch, I'll catch you in the street. Some with that beat. Bitch, I'll beat your way. Goku. Megatron's getting away. Use your Kamehameha wave. What? Get off my car. 
Oh, it was cute though. That would have been so sick. Can I get a flop? Can I get a flop? Thank you. You're supposed to use your palm. Oh, he must have died. No, what the fuck? Feep like that. So the salami lid. And it's the uh, salami. Come on. Come on. Come on, go. You want some hot dog? <laughs> yeah, it's gross. I mean, it's not TOS, because I think only human shit is TOS, but it's still gross. And leave me to my lotions. Up the floor just cracked. I believe I might find The one downside to having a stingray that knows you. Oh my god. <laughs> Jump out. Oh, you're so close. I didn't laugh. I didn't make a sound, okay? Look at Whoa. The skunks. Holy. So cute. Oh my god, oh my god, they're all coming. Oh my god. Dude, me and my fucking fire alarm the other day. I didn't laugh. <laughs> you didn't hear nothing. On today's episode of how fucked up is fucked up. That's fucked up. And that's fucked up. Dude, wicked. That's the future of oh EV. Oh my god, he on S. I think dogs are scary. I don't like them. <gasps> Ain't no way! Holy moly! We just got a raid. Thank you, Turtle, for that raid. Can we get some... Peace I to yo's for the Raiders. Welcome in, everybody. Hope you are doing well. We're doing some reacts. If you laugh, you lose. Easy.
If you want to type in chat, we are in follower only mode. So if you want to chat, I got to do is follow. Easy. But welcome in, Turtle. Hope you're doing well, man. Okay. I'm not going to... I have one more minute to not laugh. What? What? You okay, buddy? What's the wrong no sound? Oh, oh my god, she's Okay. What's it called? You know that like circular toy that had pictures of animals and then you turn it and then it would make the animal sound? You ever see the clips where like people put the wrong sounds in? That was like the doing it. Got a raider in no problem. Have you a great day, man? Thank you for bringing your folks over here. Alarmed. Worst out of <laughs> United States of America. Okay, these fucking reactions are dumb. I hate them. I'm a big fan. Just looking for a morning smell. Holy, calm down. That was good. Anybody laugh? Did I laugh? I don't think I did. I don't think it counts. Why? Why would your dog want to do that? You're literally self-reporting. Cringe. Okay, guys. I did not laugh. I didn't laugh. Okay, so we are nearing the end of stream, but don't worry. Stream is not over yet. What we're going to do now is we're going to do our calligraphy journal. So anybody who subscribes, gifts, shares, bits, or donates gets their name written in our fancy calligraphy journal. So I'm going to get that camera set up. Um, yeah. If you haven't read your name, all you got to do is donate or use your channel points. When she was a year old, she would steal onions? Why? Was she like donkey? Okay, let's get some music on for y'all. Donkey Kong OST today. I gotta change my title because we're farming. That does make sense. She probably thought they were toys. That does actually make sense. That's adorable then. You know, I thought your dog was evil for a second. Or maybe a vegan. There we go. Oh, also, for anybody who gifts a sub, you know how we have... We have the presents? I was gonna label them with, like, gift stickers, so I'll do that tonight. That way we know whose is whose, instead of just seeing like a stack. So. We had... Issa, Kobobo, and Nyx today. All purple chatters! Lots of purple chatters today. Where did I bring my pens? Oh.
Okay, so first we had Issa with a 10 month reset. I'm sorry that the camera's shaking. I ordered a new side desk that will be in, I think Friday it said. Oh, dude, it's shaking a lot. I'm sorry. Because this deck still has like the rookety, or er, rookety? Rickety. Rickety legs. Here we go once again. Thank you, Issa, for that resub. The camera's shaking so much. It's it's annoying me. I know you guys are fine with it, but it's annoying me so much. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Made Kobobo with one gifted to the chat. And that's another page done, so I'll post this on Twitter later today. Where's my pencil? Over here. Oh, yeah. you hon and to potato i didn't have fuck i didn't even have to get up first today we still guilted mac but thank you mac shout out to our top our second top gifter of the month guys but thank you mac enjoy your gifted sub potato mac is also gonna get their name written today as well all time alert yeah true i technically i technically actually um actually I have more gifted subs. I technically have 100 plus. Are you gonna beat me one day, Mac? You don't count? Yes, I do. If you look at my about tab, I show up as number one. I think it counts. So what did you guys think of the Wave 3 DLC tracks? I think they're pretty solid. I liked the Moon Cup more than the Rock Cup, I think. Mid? Yeah, I think Wave 2 was more fun. I didn't like how this Wave had two tracks that changed the laps. Like, they weren't continuous laps. So I was sad. I just realized a reason why this desk could also be rickety is because I have it on top of the carpet, not on the floor. Hmm. I think two wave two is better. I agree. But I did like wave two more than wave one. Okay, we had Nyx 
with a seven month resub only. Okay, now next we have Mac. Gentle reminder, if you want me to write your name, all I gotta do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. Channel points is free. Oh, I don't have to make dinner today because I made dinner last night. So don't worry. I wouldn't promise to do a bonus stream if I couldn't do it. That's why we didn't, or we couldn't do one yesterday. I'm almost at VIP. You're capping. Or you're coping, rather. I mean, surely one day you'll get it, right, Mac? Gift itself to the jam. We're gonna add a present under the tree for you today. Um. Next, we have channel point names. Today we had Luigi redeem. Make VIP one million. Um, a million gifted subs would work instead. Actually, I ain't changing. I ain't bargaining it today. something in exchange I ain't just gonna do it out of the kindness of my heart no no if I didn't get a low threshold evil from my bank oh no oh no dude I feel that I feel that What can we do to make VIP lower? What? No, you guys have to offer something. Okay, you guys have to make a proposal. This is like Shark Tank. You have to offer me a deal. What if we have a total gifted subs? Hmm, like make it a long-term sub goal? Hmm. But we can only really keep track of that for the month. You know? Hmm. Well, what is your starting offer then? Because it would have to be done in a month because I wouldn't be able to... Oh, Twitch can... Yeah, I can change it to all time. But if I change it to all time, then it would include all the previous months and that's not fair. It would include all of my 150 gifted. That's not fair. That's not fair. Why should I contribute to the increasing of VIP? I don't like this deal. Wait, I just did it backwards. It does not go, fuck. It breaks down per person? Yeah, true. True. Oh, you're saying... 
You can say like a certain number per person equals VIP. Hmm. So what would be the cost to buy yourself a place at VIP then? Because if let's say we did a hundred, right? An oiler could easily do that. You know, we see that in Kai Sinnott's chat every day. Hmm. I still haven't seen a number. What's the offer? What's the offer? Yeah, I've said this before. If I ever get clouded and become a big streamer, all my OG chatters will get VIP. Ten. Ten subs and you get VIP. Who counts as OG regular chatters? Like people who watch every day. Or most every stream. We can make it relative to how many people already have them. Hmm. I need a number. Matt gave me a number. I don't like that number. 10 is way too low. That's 50 bucks. 50 bucks for residual clout? Too low. Too low. 100? That's still too low. Because, like... Like I said, someone could easily, if they have the money, they could buy VIP. 200. Okay, An another A way I'll explain this. Another way I see, like, gifters or people who cheer, they're kind of like... Investors, quote-unquote, right? Because I feel like people donate to small streamers because they feel like their donation has more impact. And also, like, the money you're actually getting through stream is most likely buying things for stream because they're still getting their setup made, right? <laughs> if it's a crazy number, just give them VIP anyway? No. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know. It's like... Because I think everybody has VIP. I only have three people with VIP, and they're like streamer friends. So current sub signs 1.5? Then Mac would be fucked! <laughs> Mac would be fucked, because they've gifted 100, so they would have to pay more. That's rude. I don't know. It's weird to think about how huh? to, like, put a price on something. <laughs> Sus. <laughs> Should be relative. Hmm. But then, if somebody's only gifted five, then they would only have to gift eight. And I could drop eight right now if I wanted to. I can't. If I wanted to, I could. Hmm. All I know is I want VIP. Hmm. VIP is just a badge. And you can win it for free if you win a tournament. Easy. Then we can see a range of numbers then for the multiplier. Hmm. Because, like, I'm just trying to think of, like, people who have VIP in other people's chats, right? But I want the club forever. You know I can un-VIP people easily. Just as easy as it is to VIP, I can easily un-VIP. This all seems too complicated. <laughs> but I'm not a bad chatter. You're coping. You're coping. <laughs> You're coping. You requested a better system? Yeah. I just think nothing will work. I just think nothing will work. Because, like, I don't want people to buy their way. Because, like, the honestly, the best way to get clout through other streamers is just be active in the chat. Because, like, if people see that you're funny, they'll probably assume that your stream is funny. Just lower the channel player redemption to 1 million? No, that's too easy! That's too easy. Because that's, like, achievable. The whole gimmick of making it. How many points is it? Okay, Chatter, so that's our last name of the day. If you want me to write your name, I gotta do is donate or use your channel points. Shit. How much did I make it? Oh, it's 1 billion. <laughs> the joke is that it's a billion because it's meant to be unattainable. That's the joke. A sub go to lower VIP redemption? Hmm. Okay, the problem is 
If I make an offer, I have to stick to it, right? Like, what if... What if Megan is blessed? I am blessed. With a random person who just drops, like, a fat hondo, right? But then I'd have to stay with that deal. One... <laughs> 100 million? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like everybody should try and get VIP the honest way and just win a tournament easy clap. I don't know. See, isn't it kind of sus that everybody's trying to get VIP? It seems like you guys are only here for clout. Huh? <laughs> take max so long to get one million yeah it'd probably take like a year but i don't know finally okay bye i'm on clown's chat i feel like you already have clout mac already have vip exactly max so why are you fighting for these non-vip plebs okay wait we gotta make the presents now we had one gifted from kobobo and then two total from mac from today and yesterday Let's fold our presents. VIP would go crazy. True. But okay. I'm trying to think of the ways that I personally have earned VIP in a chat room. So I earned VIP in Cutie Lee and Rainy. Or I think I still have modded Rainy's chat. But I got VIP after I was or I unmodded myself in Katie's chat. And then I got VIP in Emmy's chat. Because, um, it was funny, because <laughs> I was in, I'm in Emmy's Discord, and she was like, hey, the first chatter to tell me, like, today's announcement, I'll give VIP, and it was me, and then I got VIP, but she was like, I would've given it to you anyway, and I was like, true. It was so funny. I'm folding. Um, but I just feel like earning it genuinely is more fun and rewarding. Should make a discord never a million subs and i'll make a discord you want a guessing game see like isn't it more fun if you just like win it because i think part of the fun with getting like any type of badge or any type of memorabilia is like the anticipation of getting it so like if you can just easily buy it isn't that like not as fun You got mod randomly? Bro, that's crazy. See, I don't think I could ever... Uh, what'd you call it? Ever play a game where I, I can't not, like, look at chat for a second? Because I get so scared that something's gonna happen. Oh, they knew you? Okay. <laughs> I was like, just some rando you got mod in. That's kind of crazy. What'd you do if someone came in and dropped 100? I don't know. Because I've thought about that. Because, like, you know how people will, like, farm reactions? Like, whoa! 100 gifted! Holy moly! Okay, that's one gifted. But it's like, I feel like part of the reason why people gift subs, whether it be, like, small or large amounts, is because they want to, like, help support, of course. And also, farm a reaction. Like, get that little bit of attention to see that you had an impact on somebody, right? So it's like, but then it also kind of feels like, you know, the cliche like, oh, dance for me, monkey. That kind of like stigma. So it's like, I don't know how I'd react. Because obviously like 100 gifted is a lot of money. That's like $500 for the customer or the viewer to pay on their own, not including tax. So it's like, it's a lot. Insert but. reaction, do something funny, then I'll suck to PC and underscore beat saver. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, Titans. <laughs> Thank you, hun. Yeah, can we get some whitens in chat? Thank you, hun. I appreciate that. Insert reaction to do something funny. Yeah. So it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, farm. Because, like, I think Wolf pointed this out a while ago. Or I'm creasing right now. Where... 
Because, like, I, I, my, the cliche thing I would say, I'd be like, whoa, thank you so-and-so for the gift and stuff. You're crazy. But then I stopped saying that because uh, it, it's hard to talk about it because you don't want to seem ungrateful or I don't want to seem ungrateful. It's just, um, I don't want people to, like, subscribe or donate just for a reaction. I want them to subscribe or donate because they want to support, you know what I mean? Like, honestly, TTS is farming, but it's funny, you know, because that adds to the entertainment. Like, you guys say something funny, chat, Pepe laughs or something. It's a very, like, intricate dynamic that I didn't fully understand. Or that you won't understand until you start streaming yourself. Because there is, like, a tinge of guilt receiving, like, donations during a stream. Because it's like, oh, I appreciate the monetary support. But then it's also like, you feel like you have to provide so much more knowing that people are donating. Like, I feel like streaming is meant to be non-highly produced content. But it should still have meaning behind it. And some type of, like, creative aspect behind it. It's another box done. I don't know, it's like... It's hard to explain, but does that make sense, type one? If you hate me, type two. <laughs> okay, third one. We also get to cut a snowflake today, which we haven't done yet. This is honestly fun folding. I want to get back into origami, but kind of a bit too tedious for me. So I'll go for Overwatch, dude. I'm never playing a shooter. I would lose my mind. Okay, this one I traced crooked. There we go. Better. Yeah, we still have to do Fortnite. So, we'll see how Fortnite goes. And if it's trash, then I ain't ever playing an FPS game. I mean, isn't Overwatch, like, mandatory to use, like, VC? Overwatch is silly and based. <laughs> you know what else is silly and based? Running ads. You can always turn off VC. But then it impacts the experience. And like, I'm scared. I'm scared that somebody's gonna call me a slur. Or tell me to make a sandwich. I see clips of that all the time, so surely it must happen every time. Fortnite is trash already. Potato is gonna like become a hate watcher if I play Fortnite in stream, and I'm scared. <laughs> That's for bottom wear for two true, true. Actually, real and true. <laughs> Two out of ten, not correct time. I mean, I just gotta stall for 15 more minutes and that'll be time, right? done okay now I'm gonna label these presents before I forget I, I don't think I've ever played a game that has VC so we had two from Matt and I'll label the other ones off stream because I don't want to spend too much time Just so you guys get an idea. Well, it's not gonna zoom because I'm too far away. Imagine if Mario Kart had VC. I mean, it kind of does. Like, if you download, like, the Nintendo app, then you can get into, like, a VC with people who are playing. With, like, any Nintendo online game. 
I told you guys the one time my sister and I we were in BC just playing Mario Kart and there was somebody role playing as you know the dancer in Sia's videos they were role playing as that girl <laughs> and it was the dumbest shit okay so we labeled our presents now they can go under the tree oh you can't really see but they're like under it okay Wait, should I- I should stack them, like, one-on-one. -on -one. Oh wait, can you see it? You can see them now. I stacked them like on top of each other, like building blocks. There we go. Very nice. Thank you once again to Kobo and Mac for gifting. Now we get to make a snowflake. I'm gonna use the scrap paper from the wallpaper. Now we're gonna make a circle. Guys, this is how you make a snowflake. You're gonna fold your paper in half. Oh wait, shit. I <laughs> I didn't have to cut it yet. Oopsie. This is a basic first grade and already failed. Okay, we're gonna fold in half again. And then again. And it'll look like a triangle or a little pie slice. And we're gonna cut shapes in. I'm gonna cut triangles because I'll show you guys the other one I made to test. There's a fun website to make paper snowflakes. Hmm. Should we do a snowflake making stream? We can do that on the Santa waiting stream. I have so many scraps all over my desk now. I'm regretting this. That was scary. Okay, this whole- this looks good. Oh, it's like an online game? No way. Um, send me the link on Twitter, Kobobo. Maybe we'll do that for a small segment. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> I have a mask. My is gone. Titan's name is now on the snowflake. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Now, chatters, we're done. We're stall. We're done stalling. We're done decorating. Once again, thank you to everybody who donated to today's stream. I will be live later tonight. Probably right now it's three. So maybe 4 or 5 p.m. with a bonus subscriber only. Cult of the Lamb stream. So if you want to make sure you watch the stream, make sure you're following, have the goal like notifications on. And if you want to catch the stream, I gotta do subscribe. Well, there's a Donkey Kong game on the Wii, no way. Don't play it? Oh. Oh awkward okay so chat is i will be live again tomorrow 11 a.m pst it's gonna be a, a oh i hate that sound it's gonna be a normal week we're gonna be doing super mario galaxy tomorrow and animal crossing and then i think if raymond moves out 
by Friday, we'll do Aurora hunting on Friday. And since we are supposed to do art on Friday on the art channel, everybody go follow. Exclamation art in chat. It's hashtag free to follow that second channel. I think we'll do painting either Sunday, Monday. Because I have a doctor's appointment next Tuesday. So, but next week, we will be starting holiday streams. Oh, wait, Sunday. Fuck, we have the tournament. <laughs> Dude, it's a loaded month. Okay. So, we are doing a Meggy Sports Mario Kart tournament on Sunday. 11 a.m. PST. Lobby opens for practice at 10. I'll make a post on Twitter explaining more specific rules. So, follow my Twitter. That way you get funny haha -ha tweets and then stuff about stream. Anyway, I had fun hanging out with everybody today. We got to see... For the first time, Wave 3 of Mario Kart Deluxe. I liked it. Not as good as Wave 2, but still pretty solid. Um, yeah. Thank you everybody who hung out today. Once again, thank you to Mac and Kobobo for donating. Nyx and Issa for resubbing. And Titans for cheering. Wait, I gotta write Titan's name. Fuck! The stream's not over yet, actually. I forgot. Since Titans cheered, I have to do calligraphy. Never mind. Stream's not over. We're still farming. God damn. Yes, yeah, psych. I debated everybody. I mean, it's fine. I'm not mad. I hate getting bits. It's so annoying. I don't know. I, 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 cause like, I watch back the vlogs sometimes, and then I feel like I come off as like, What's the word? Like, not appreciative at his times, and like, I am appreciative of everything. I think for the tournament, I want to do lightning bolts only. I think it would be so aggravating, but so funny. I want to do lightning bolts. I think it'd be hilarious. Okay. Once again, thank you, Titans, for the 100 bits earlier. I appreciate you, hon. Now we're done. You're done. You're done. No, it'll be funny, guys. It'll be funny. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But wouldn't it be hilarious? Because when you get lightning bolted, don't you lose your items? So if everybody only gets lightning bolts, then you're incentivized to use it right away. Hmm. Now that I'm thinking about it... No, it's fine. I think it'll be funny. I think it'll be fine. Okay! I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you're following, make sure you have go like notifications turned on. Because only 70% of you guys have them turned on. If you're not following, um, fucking follow the stream. Then you can chat next time. I feel like it'll be unplayable. That's part of the fun. Okay. Like I said, follow my Twitter. That way you get notifications about stream. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. 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 I'm Markiplier. <laughs> Dude, I was watching one of the videos last night. And it was nice. I forgot how much, like, of an impact certain, like, creators and YouTubers have on my life. And it made me feel good. Okay. Oh, wait. Fuck. I won't see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys tonight for Cold of the Lamb. So, um, I'll post on Twitter in my life, but I, like I said, make sure you have notifications turned on. Okay, people, bye. Really great stream. See you next time. Yeah, thank you for hanging out today, guys. Thank you. Okay, bye, Cooks. Bye, Koboba. I'll see you guys tonight. If not, whenever I see you all. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.